Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, went with his army to Jerusalem. At this time, Jehoiakim, son of King Josiah, was the king of Judah. God allowed King Nebuchadnezzar to take over the city. Nebuchadnezzar took things from God's temple back to Babylon. He put them in the temple where he worshiped a false god. King Nebuchadnezzar told the man in charge of his leaders to bring some of the people to Babylon to serve in his palace. He wanted boys who were healthy, handsome, and good learners. Every day, King Nebuchadnezzar gave the boys a special diet. They had the same food and drink that the king had. The king planned to train the boys for three years before they became his servants. Four of the boys from Judah were different than the others. They worshiped the Lord, the one true God. Their names were Daniel, Hananiah, Meshael, and Azariah. The man in charge of the boys gave them new Babylonian names. Daniel's new name was Belteshazzar. Hananiah's new name was Shadrach. Meshiel's new name was Meshach. And Azariah's new name was Abednego. Even though they weren't in Judah anymore, Daniel still wanted to obey God. God's law told Daniel what he could and could not eat. Daniel was not allowed to eat some of the food from the king. Daniel asked for permission to eat other foods, but the man in charge was afraid. If you don't eat the king's food, you will get thin. You won't be strong like the other young men. The king might get angry with me and kill me, he said. Daniel said, try this for 10 days. Let us eat only vegetables and let us drink only water. Then see if we are healthier than the other young men. The guard agreed to change their diet for 10 days. At the end of 10 days, Daniel and his friends looked healthier than the young men who had eaten the king's food. After that, the guard allowed Daniel and his friends to keep drinking water and eating vegetables. God was happy that Daniel obeyed him. God blessed Daniel and his friends. He made them wise and smart. When their three years of training was over, Daniel and his friends stood before the king. The king talked to them and saw that they were smarter and stronger than all the other young men. They were even smarter than the wise men who worked for the king. Daniel stayed and served the king for many years. Daniel chose to obey God no matter what. God blessed Daniel and his friends. Daniel wasn't perfect, but he reminds us of someone who was. Jesus obeyed God perfectly and he always pleases God. We please God when we trust in Jesus. Greetings, boys and girls. This is your teacher, Ezekiel. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's been a while since we last met. Uh, the last time we were with you was in January. And uh, if you remember, um, you prayed for me because that time I was not well and I was going to India for surgery. And uh, some of you wrote very nice prayers for me, like this one that says, Father, in Jesus' name, I cover teacher Ezekiel with the blood of Jesus from Victory Wanjiku. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was very nice. These prayers really excited me and uh, they were a great strength for me while I was in India. May God heal you, teacher Ezekiel, Akira. Uh -huh. I'm showing you this because we are talking about prayer. Look, there is even one of you who even drew my leg because they knew I had a problem with my leg. <laughs> His name is Chiwo, and he said, may God heal you, and God loves you. Oh, this was lovely. This was very encouraging as I was in that hospital bed uh, in India, and many others. I can't read all, all of them today. And uh, it's exciting. We have been learning about discipline in prayer. Thank you for those who prayed for me because I came back strong and now I'm able to walk. 
Uh, I'm still recovering, so continue praying for me. And um, I thank God we have been talking about prayer. And we have seen uh, what prayer does. When people ask God for things, God actually does. And we have been looking at, for the last four weeks, if you remember, we have been learning about Daniel, the book of Daniel, chapter 1 to 6. And we learned about Daniel and his friends. And today's lesson is actually just to go through. It's a recap, you know, like a summary of the last four weeks. So today's lesson is just like revision. We are going to review those lessons that we have learned for the last four weeks. But to start us, I would like to pray and also read a verse and then we continue. Lord Jesus, we thank you so much for such a wonderful time that you have given us. You are our God. We depend on you. We look up to you because you are our Savior. We are your children and you are our Father. So this day we pray for your presence even as we go through the scriptures and even as we go through the review of the book of Daniel. We love you. We bless you in Jesus' name. I want us to read our Bible, just two verses as we start. We are going to read Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 and 8. So my Bible says, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, it will be opened. Mm. Those are the words of Jesus as he tells us about how to pray and how we need to ask. Now, when we look back at the, the, the characters we have been going through, lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, and lesson four, uh, you can't help but to imagine that Daniel... Meshach, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were like heroes, you know, superheroes. I know you like watching superhero movies. For those who are a bit older, they like the Marvel characters. Eh? You want to see Captain America. You want to see the Hulk. You want to see the Iron Man. And others like the, the DC fair characters where we have the Superman, you know, Wonder Woman, uh, who else? We have the Spider-Man. These people do things that are very extraordinary. Mm, jumping buildings, and we look at them and we say they are superheroes. But there are real heroes recorded in the Bible whom we can actually call the heroes of faith. Heroes of faith. And we have been looking at these uh, people as we look at Daniel. Thinking about Daniel and thinking about his four friends. The first lesson that um, Pastor Ross brought to us, uh, we were able to see Daniel and his friends making decisions not to defile themselves with foods that, uh, were, give, that, that were foreign and that were you know, sacrificed to idols. They just decided we are not going to eat this food. And they actually survived on vegetables and water. And their health, was, their health and strength was 10 times better than that of the people of Babylon. Huh? <laughs> that, was, that was heroic. Eh? They had these powers that can only come from God. God was able to show his powers through them. And uh, that lesson we learned that uh, we should be faithful. The, the lesson was faithfulness in prayer. And uh, faithfulness is, an, is a choice. That's what we learned. You have to choose to be faithful. And God favors those who make those choices. And we also learned that God rewards faithfulness. And do you remember the verse of the day, that day? Uh -huh. Romans, it is up here. Romans 12, verse 12. Uh -huh. Do you remember what it says? Be faithful, be joyful in hope, patience in affliction, and faithful in prayer. And we learned that we, have, we need to be 
faithful in prayer. It was such a wonderful lesson. And uh, lesson two, we learned about trusting God. Um, and we also looked at the, the three um, people that uh, King Nebuchadnezzar decided to put into a fiery furnace. The fire was made seven times hotter. But these three, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, went through the fire. <laughs> Again, in a very superheroic way. I mean, how can they go through the fire, into the fire? And then they came out and escaped. None. They were not touched by the fire. Actually, those who drew them into the fire, these soldiers, they were killed by the fire. Yet for them, they came up, they came out, uh, they came out without any, pro uh, any problem or uh, being hurt. What can you call that? Mm. That is God showing his powers that are better than those superhero powers. <laughs> that when we trust in him, they trusted God. Even when they were threatened by death, they still trusted God. So it is not trusting God for a moment. It is actually trusting God throughout. Mm -hmm. And what was the verse for the day? For those who have a different version, mine I memorized uh, NIV, and it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. But for those who uh, use the good news, you can see it right there. Uh -huh. The third lesson which uh, teacher Helen brought to us very, very well was that we should pray continually. Pray continually. Daniel was so outstanding. He decided to pray, opening his windows. It was not a secret. He would pray three times a day. And that brought quite some problem to him because there are people who did not want him to pray. Yet he had made, he had resolved, I am going to pray. Yes, I'm, I'm not worried about the people looking at me, people at school saying, uh, what, what are you wasting your time praying? But he decided to pray and he prayed three times despite uh, even the king having said there should be no prayer. And we can see that God was a, God enabled him even to overcome very, very big problem, being thrown into the lion's den. Uh -huh. You know, if we were in church today, we would be doing our coloring, you know, the way we used to do. You can see I colored mine, Daniel, in the lion's den. <laughs> That would be fun, but we pray that this season will pass and we will go back to our drawing, back to class. So the, the last Sunday, teacher Mariam again brought to us um, the lesson, be thankful, be thankful. And uh, we were able to see Daniel again uh, being in trouble because he was among those chosen as king's advisors, very bright people, yet the wizards and the sorcerers could not, they were not able to interpret a dream that the, that the king had. And he was so angry, he decided, I am going to kill everyone. Until Daniel went to his friends and they decided to pray, and uh, God revealed the dream to him at night and he came before the king rejoicing he was very happy that the dream has been revealed to you know this king was a bit <laughs> he was a difficult king he decided i'm not going to say the dream i'm not going to say what i have dreamt i want if these people are true if they are true magicians they have to inter to tell me what i dreamt and to interpret it Oh, that was a difficult thing. Daniel with his friends were able to pray to the God of heaven and he revealed to, th to them this mystery about the king's uh, dream. And that way he, they were able even to save many people from death, his, uh, their colleagues from being killed. And they really praised God. They thanked God 
and they also thank the, the king. So in this Sunday, we, well, we, we learned about pray, to praying continually, and we also did a verse. I don't know how many of you remember, but we did Daniel chapter 6, verse 10, as our verse, memory verse of the day. And we can see it up there. And it says, there, just as he had always done, he knelt down at the open windows and prayed to God three times a day. He was not afraid to pray to God. Okay. Lesson four. We learned also about giving thanks. And there was also the verse of the day. Lesson 4, which was Colossians chapter 4, verse 2. What does it say? Be persistent in prayer and keep alert as you pray, giving thanks to God. That will also be our memory verse today as we continue thinking about discipline in prayer. Keeping, a discipline, keeping discipline in our prayer. So be persistent in prayer and keep alert as you pray, giving thanks to God. Colossians 4, verse 2. So, what, if we know all these things, then I think the question would be, uh, how should we pray? Even the disciples asked Jesus, how should we pray? And uh, to help us, uh, you remember when we went to the camp last year, we did... Um, we did this illustration where we just use our hand to remember how to pray or to learn how to pray. Whenever we come to God in prayer, we start by praise. We praise him for all the things that he has done, uh, or, or rather for all the things, for who, the, who he is. Yes, he's a good God, he's our creator, and we have many, many words, you know, think of, those good words that you can say to describe God. The second thing is thanksgiving. We thank him for, them, for the things that he has done for us. When you wake up till the time you go to sleep, there is a lot that God has done for you. And we think about these things and we, say, we tell him thank you. And the third finger, the middle finger is confession. We come to him. In confession, we ask for forgiveness. We, we say we are sorry for our sins. Sorry because I hit my sister. Sorry because I took her things. She had not given me permission. Sorry. So we say sorry to God because he forgives. Um, and that is what we are calling confession. confession. The fourth finger here is ask. Yes, now you can ask whatever you want. Like what we read in Matthew chapter 7 verse 7 today that ask and it will be given to you and the last one is intercession Inter to intercede that just means praying for others uh, don't mind uh, that it's a difficult word it just means praying for others and uh, as we think about praying for others uh, this Sunday we are thinking about the 40 days of prayer that we have been doing. Uh, today being Sunday 27th, uh, it's, the, it's 37th the day, so we have only about, uh, the, it's the, that 5th day, so we have about 5 more days. And so we will finish the prayers uh, in October 2nd. And so we continue praying for ourselves, we pray for the children of Africa, we pray for the many things that have been uh, written down for us to pray. I know we have been following this. The second thing, the exciting thing that is also happening at our church, current community church, is that every September we pray and think about people who have never heard about Jesus. Yes, they are called the unreached people. And so we, we remember them this month and we, I know also in our Sunday school meetings we have been praying for missionaries who go there, out there, to, to tell them about Jesus because everyone needs to hear about Jesus. Yes, so 
uh, in all these things, uh, we, we have learned that uh, these people, one other thing that we have learned is that these people are real people and they were human beings like us. They looked very uh, like superhero, people who cannot be burnt by fire, people who cannot be eaten by lions, yet they were just human beings like us. And so if we believe and if we trust God and if we are faithful in prayer, uh, God uh, will, all these things will be ours. And so the question I'm asking today is for you to name four things that Daniel and his friends did that made them overcome their problems. Do you remember what those four things? And they came to us as lessons for the last four weeks. So if you remember, please share with your guardian. And the answers are they were faithful to God at all times. They trusted God. They prayed continually. And they were thankful to God. So question two. Question two is a bit difficult. I don't know how many will make it, but I know you are bright guys. So what names were given to Daniel, to Hananiah, to Azariah, and Mishael by the king of Babylon? You know, he, he changed their names. He liked changing their culture, their language, their names. So he changed the name of Daniel, he changed the name of Hananiah, he changed the name of Azariah, and he changed the name of Mishael. To what names? Answers. So to Daniel he called Belteshazzar, to Hananiah he called Shadrach, uh -huh. to Azariah he called Abednego, and to Mishael he, say, he called Meshach. Uh -huh. Those are the answers. And our memory verse, as I said, will be like last week's memory verse, which is Colossians 4.2. Be persistent in prayer and keep alert as you pray, giving thanks to God. That is our memory verse that we need you to memorize. And so, our assignment, our assignment is use your hand. Use your hand to pray the five steps that we learned today of prayer. Use your hands and pray. Start by praising God, thanksgiving, confess your sins, um, ask, and then you pray for others as we have just talked about praying for others. So thank you very much, boys and girls. That was our lesson today. I'm so excited to have taken you through this. And uh, we'll see you next time. So let's pray. Lord, we thank you for who you are. You are the creator of heaven and earth. Sure, we have no other God like you. Thank you for the many things that you have given us. Uh, the gift of salvation uh, in this life and the life to come. And uh, we confess that if there are any sins that you have done in our lives, you forgive us through, your blood, through the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. And we ask that you keep us safe even during this time of pandemic, that Lord, you keep each one of us and that also you'll hasten the time for us to meet again. And we also pray for the many who have never heard about you. Jesus, please remember them and send them people to tell them about the good news. We love you. We bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Bye.